Hi folks, uh, Mr. Tessalonian back here again for Alternative Inventive Design Group. I wanted to show you the original design uh, I created a little while ago, a couple months back, of uh, what we call right now the Riffleless Loose Box. So let me just go over the uh, quick how you build and uh, we'll go from there to show you how it works. First of all, it's just a piece of aluminum folded into a uh, sluice box shape. It's pretty small, nothing easy or nothing hard to do here. Second of all, I have a piece of old real estate steel real estate sign. Um, what I've done is folded it with some edges just slightly larger than the aluminum box, so it'll sit underneath like so. Show you some what's on the underside of this. What I have is neodymium magnet super magnets in rows, basically the same pattern as riffles in a sluice box, going all the way down to smaller magnets here towards the bottom. You can see some of them already got some black sand on them. So what I've done here is right on the sides towards the top, I've punched a couple holes on either side, just big enough for a nail. And same on the sluice box, I have some rolled aluminum here so the nail can go in there. So what I'll show you how this goes together, is take a quick nail, put it through the hole, got them to line up here for you. Alright, so what you end up with is basically a design that holds itself together that has a hinge. So it can be set together so the aluminum and the magnets are close to each other, creating that magnetic field to go up through that box. What I do to lock that together here is I have an extra neodymium right here. Picked it up. And I throw that neodymium right there on top and you'll notice it sticks there on its own. There it goes, locks on and keeps that thing shut. So I'm going to show you how this works here. I got a bucket set up down below. I've got a scoop some, uh, with some gold bearing material here. I'm going to set that at the beginning. Take a uh, thing of water and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have water flow down the riffle of sluice box. Give me a second to readjust on the jug here. So you'll notice that these giant riffles of black sand appear. These riffles of black sand is basically how you can clean out your concentrates of your black sand. This could be a pre-sluice system to your normal dredge or sluice box or any other system you're running uh, gold bearing uh, sands through. This will help remove most of your black sand. Uh, now the easy part here, let me grab that bucket of water. To remove that black sand, to wash it out, you take your top magnet that's holding that together off. You would lift the top and the bottom plates from each other. You know they separated and it'll take very little water to wash that all clean. Typically you'd want to wash that into a bucket as your saved black sand concentrates. So there you go. This is uh, just the original production uh, prototype that I had built just to test the concept of the riffleless sluice box. Join me on Alternative Inventive Design Group to see this come to life as the finished product which will be about a month.